2018. If you, if you guys could just. Okay, if you guys could just like be quiet, like we threw through it, so that'd be good. Thanks. Welcome. Welcome to the seniors band not top ten. Basically, it's the top ten moments from our last four years that have been absolutely terrible. Oh yeah, very terrible. A little intro video for y'all. Y'all, it's a little bit for y'all. <laughs> All right, we're gonna take it away now. Okay, so as uh, a lot of you guys may know, um, uh, that we used to do a section competition every year, and since before, um, Mr. Posner was in high school, the saxophone section never did the marching, and we just made a bunch of um, innuendos um, <laughs> using the word sax. Um, so basically, um, since of late, lots of sections haven't been, ta been taking this seriously, um, he, can't, he just canceled it. So, this, so like, that was like a tradition that like for the saxophones and it started for the trombones later that, uh, that at least we cared about a lot. So we're going to do just like a short little one for you guys. <laughs> Instead of the usual like 10 or 15 minute ones, we did like a three or four minute one. So I hope you guys enjoy um, um, Sax Doctor. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to the sax doctor. What seems to be the problem, you two? Hello doctor, our sax together just isn't satisfying anymore. His boner doesn't even fit in my sax. <laughs> Is there anything you can do to help us, doctor? Try this special slide oil. It'll make your boner easier to slide up and down, making your sax smoother and easier than ever. <laughs> Scene two. Eric! Okay, Eric. Excuse me, doctor, but I'm having some trouble. My boner never snaps to attention like it used to. <laughs> you poor thing. Hmm. Let's do a little test. Hmm. Boner's ten, hot! Ooh. That is your strong one. All right. Okay. Well, um, it seems to me that you have boner dysfunction. Uh, this is a uh, very. This can be very easily remedied by the very popular drug, Cialis. <laughs> so you take a couple doses of these every week, and voila, your boners will be. Picture perfect. excitement when we have sexual relations. <laughs> 
talked about it and both willing to experiment with various instruments and tools, but we don't know where to start. <laughs> All right, so we... first, you're gonna try switching mouthpieces. You'd be surprised how much bigger even a tenor mouthpiece feels when you start tugging that new, thicker reed. <laughs> Maybe even try buying a new leather next year. <laughs> Co colleagues of mine have told me about various stances you can take, like the, sec the second position in order to increase your sound. <laughs> on the floor. Hey doctor, can you help me out? My boner seems to be stuck in place and I, I, I can't move it. Oh, oh, I clearly, that's a, that's a problem. Okay, so, um, I see this is, uh, this is very common with teenagers. Um, this is a symptom of overuse of practicing. Uh, so, this is a, it's a very easy fix. It seems to me that you've been practicing at least 10 hours a week. We need to cut that down to at least five. Okay, so once that happens, and we do that, and if that, that should fix the problem, but if it doesn't, we can medically induce you clearing your spit valve. Doctor, I'm gonna go play with it right now. <laughs> no, we have one more scene. Very, very soon. It's this, 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 this shot. Doctor's office hours are almost closed. <laughs> Where are the other microphones? Yeah. Yeah, um, while we were playing our saxes recently, we uh, discovered that we both have syphilis sax. So. <laughs> what can you do to treat us? Alright, so you take these penicillin sax pills, apply them daily to your cork in order to see the results come as soon as possible, so you can continue with your sax whenever you're ready. Sounds great, thanks! Well, a few days ago we had a massive break, okay? And sometimes we get so excited that we break a few things. So for you, we have a reenactment of what we specifically yeah! Yeah! <laughs> oh! ah! um, Okay. <laughs> In case you didn't understand what the point of this reenactment was, uh, during the rave, Zach decided that um, he would get a little too excited and Break an exit sign. <laughs> and thanks to Mrs. Richardson to, for fixing it. Thank you. Woo! teacher named Mr. Ambrose, for those of you who don't know, and uh, he's very, very passionate about what he does, okay? And so um, we have a reenactment of what he used to do to a few of us, and uh, in this, uh, Mr. Ambrose will be played by a few technical difficulties. Okay, so Mr. Poser will be played by Adrian. Oh, sorry, 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 my bad, my bad. Mr. 
Ambrose will be played by Adrian Ashtari, and uh, the rest is as follows. Thank you. Okay, band, play measure three and do not be flat, be natural. <laughs> Bats, you are worthless to the band. You do not deserve to breathe the same air as me. <laughs> Phone, my phone, my wallet, pretty much everything in there. Went to breakfast, went the entire day without a saxophone or anything, and during the performance of Mission Impossible, I uh, had my saxophone handed to me by a fireman. <laughs> and it turns out that my lock actually was broken, and they had to take a fire truck and open the window, take my sax out, put it back in the case, give it to the staff, Staff gave it to me, then I got my phone and everything else. That was the story. Such a classic moment, really, really. Coach, you're a legend, man. Yeah, for real. Legend. We love you. Thank you, thank you for explaining the story for us. All right, so, number five on our top. Okay, so we're gonna do a reenactment. Sadly, Mr. Poser couldn't be here to do it himself, like he did it to us. But we're gonna. Uh, Tanya's gonna play Mr. Poser. I'm just gonna uh, set the scene. I'm just gonna set the scene real quick. If you mind. I just wanna point yeah. out. Uh, do you guys know how Mr. Poser always wears his hat? Yeah. yeah. I think Tanya got an exam. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> He's a regular P. Diddy. <laughs> um. So. Basically, his first year here, as you guys may know, he's drilled the cheating stuff on us pretty hard. But what you have experienced was nothing. We probably cheated, that if, I would say, for 45 minutes without stop. It was, it was just not only annoying and grueling, but um, it just words really can't describe the feelings we were going through. So we're just gonna throw down like a little reenactment of what happened that day. Thank you. Uh, guys, basically you suck. You messed up like three times. Now we're gonna do 80 cheating steps. Ready? Tweet, 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 tweet. One, two, three, cheat and step. One, two, three, cheat and step. One, two, three, cheat and step. And that went on 32 times. Thank you. Oh, hello? 
Don't play yet. Okay. So some of you may have seen this this morning. I'm not saying that we did take two hours to do that rapping job. I'm not saying that it took from 2.45 a.m. to 4.30 a.m. I'm not saying that those involved were Eric Schnuda, Maxwell Lessons, Jacob Abraham, Zach Piper, and Leonard Kruger. I am saying that it only took David Kankin 30 seconds to get rid of two hours of hard work. Thank you, David. Thank you. We're going to take a quick bow. Yeah, that was a grind. Oh my, we were stealthy. It was so much fun. We had, we planned this for three days. Oh, yeah, we did. We, we did, did dry runs. It was we did measurements. It was Intense just planning. It was a great time. Yes. I don't. I don't know who that guy is. All right. Play the video. Oh yeah, you can play the new video real quick. Again, this was not at 4.15 a.m. <laughs> Explain why you guys put those things there. Oh, well, um, we thought it would be too mean if we didn't, if we wrote sorry and gave him the $20 bill. We thought it was Chris. And so you just cut it off, obviously. But... All right. All right. So, <laughs> many of you guys may have not heard this story. This is a doozy. All right. That's tough. Yes, this is tough. Okay, so basically what happened is, as seniors, we make maybe not some of the smartest jokes, maybe, okay? Maybe the ones that aren't the most appropriate for band camp, I'm granted. So our good friend, Jacob Abraham. Jacob, come up here, please. Just, just step forward for the ground. Anyway, so he told one of his, uh, jokingly, keyword jokingly, in confidence, well, it wasn't even in confidence, because it was a joke, that he, he had him he leave, and he was going to snort it. <laughs> and the staff, oh, would you like to explain? We're reenacting it. Oh, we're reenacting? Hey, Leonard, Jeremy, look what my mom packed me. This is a leave. We should smash this and snort it. Sweet! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> this is a staff member. Hey! Jacob, what's in that orange box? What do you mean? One of the staff members overheard that you wanted to crush up some drugs and snort them. Mr. Posner, this is a leave. It's not even prescription. You can't even snort this. I have no more lines. <laughs> Okay. This is a true story. Moving on. This is this is oh, arguably oh, number one. Back. This is the greatest. This, this is the greatest thing that has ever happened to any of us in the history of man. Let me set the scene. It was December of sophomore year. I was at home. It was about 1 a.m before the plane test was due, the pre-test, mind you, and I forgot my trombone at home. Being the goody-goody I was back then, at school I meant, being the goody-goody I was back then, I didn't know that poster doesn't do late Like I, I turn in things like two months late now, sorry. Anyway, so I had to improvise, so I turned this in. Watch his face, it's so funny. <laughs>
checked single a week later. 50 out of 50, baby! <laughs> That doesn't prove that poster doesn't look at the pretest. I don't know what that's. Just FYI for all you freshmen out there. But still be careful. Okay, moving on. The best of all of me. Okay, um. So basically. Hi, America. This is Erica Foby on this one. Okay, so. So every year we have these skits, right? We always perform a skit. And ours has been terrible. Like ours has been terrible. Yeah. Garbage. So um, every year we have a skit. Yeah, she's standing exactly right here. Okay, that's foreshadowing. Okay, so every year we have a skit, and last year, so our junior year, Erica got very emotional during uh, during the skit and decided to do this. Please play. <laughs> So that was not planned at all. Yeah, so just thought you should know we weren't a part of that. It was all Aaron's fault. <laughs> okay, so I mean sometimes you have to let your emotions out and that was our not top ten skit, so I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs>